everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in a different location because we have come to Bath which is very exciting. Um, if you can hear whistling there's people building outside. It's quite a tune for whistling actually. So yeah it's very exciting we're going to see some bookshops. Um, we have had lunch already I didn't film any of that but it was very nice. We had this vegan brie which is amazing. Very very good. I've never had a good vegan cheese before. Um, but we're in our hotel room. Oh yeah, I have had... Did I say I haven't had vegan cheese before? You haven't had a good vegan cheese. Oh no, I have had a good vegan cheese before, which was last week. So we're going to see some lovely bookshops. Topping and Company, which is like one of the most beautiful bookshops in the UK, because I've been to them all, if you, if you didn't know. Um, and Mr B's Emporium. And they've got Persephone books here as well, which is very exciting. I didn't know they had some other than in London. So yeah, all good stuff. I'll do a little room tour now so you can get a gist. You can't really see how nice this is, actually. <laughs> so we've got a nice chandelier thing. That's our bed. We've already made a mess. That's my lovely tummy. They've given us a hat. <laughs> They've given us hats. <laughs> yeah. This is the nice armchair which is just begging to be someone to read in. Nice posters. Yeah. Another Thomas. He's the same one, I'm just joking. Look, this is me. This is my full height. How how tall do you think I am? I've got About that tall. high? Yeah, I'm that tall. And um, Tommy's showing you into the bathroom. Why well, actually I was going to do a wee. <laughs> this is the bathroom. It's got a handle on the toilet lid. Oh my wow. god. That's I what you paid for, isn't it? I didn't know I needed a handle on my door seat. No. <laughs> What's that called? Toilet seat. <laughs> and that's our sink. Very good stuff. There's an umbrella. A, a matching wow. umbrella that goes through the aesthetic. Look at that shower. And there's a thing. <gasps> Is that a speaker in the ceiling? So you can... Oh my god. You can play music or oh, listen yeah. to things whilst... Oh, that is amazing. Anyway, Tom's going for a wee now. So that's our room. I don't know what... Well, Tom's going to go for a wee and then I'm going for a wee. And you then... Can go first if you want. Oh, I can go first if I want. Oh, what luxury. And then maybe we're going to go to the bookshops because it's raining so much outside. So I don't know how much outside footage I'm going to get. We'll see. But yeah, thanks for tuning in. Adios.
everyone, we just got back from book shopping. We went to four different bookshops, very impressive. Uh, where did we go? We went to Topping and Company, which was the first one. They've just recently moved, I think, but I think we saw both outsides of the buildings and went inside, obviously, the one that exists now. And I think the one now is much better, but I haven't been in the old one. Anyway, um, I bought two books from there and then we went to Waterstones. Uh, I didn't get anything in there, but it was a, it was a nice Waterstones. I don't know. I don't think it was as nice as the other bookshops, though. Then we went to Persephone Books, which is a publisher also, and they publish. It seemed to be mostly things on war um, and all female writers. And I don't really like war, so nothing really appealed to me as much. And then the fourth bookshop we went to was Mr B's Emporium, which was really lovely. It had a really... well, both... The first and last bookshop both had a really nice atmosphere, so did Persephone books actually, very calming atmosphere, but Mr B's was good because there were two booksellers recommending books to other people and they were both sitting down and just taking their time over it and it was just so nice, whereas when I used to work in, I used to work in Waterstones, it was very much a kind of rapid kind of book selling rather than taking the time to actually listen to what the customer wants so that was really nice so I'll show you the books I got so this is my little pile just short books because I have so many long books at the moment and I can't cope I can't cope so in Topping and Company I got these two I can't I don't know what they're called but they're both poetry collections and I read the poems, the first poems of each, and I thought they were lovely, jubbly. So the first one is Panic Response by John McCulloch. Is that how you pronounce it, McCulloch? I think so. We think so. So this is a poetry collection about, I think mostly about anxiety and getting out of the slump of anxiety, which I have experienced before, and panic, I've experienced panic a lot before. And the first poem was about panic. Wow. Uh, this is why I don't work in a bookshop anymore. And it just really drew me in. I related a lot to the first poem, so I thought I'd get it. And I really like the simplistic cover. Secondly, I got, I don't even know what it's called, um, Blessed the Daughter Raised by a Voice in Her Head. Is that right? I don't know. And it's by Warsan Shi. No, that's not right. War Warsan Shire. I think that's how you pronounce Shire. Shire? Shire. Anyway, this is a signed first edition. How fancy is that? And again, this is a book not about anxiety, but something that really. I, I love poetry when it resonates with me or when it's kind of a bit chaotic as such or just some really interesting imagery. Um, which is why I love Allen Ginsberg. And the first poem is about her childhood, her girlhood. It's called Extreme Girlhood. <coughs> and I thought that was another really gripping poem that I was very interested by. So I got that as well. And in the last bookshop, Mr B's Emporium, I got Cursed Bunny. So Tom's pointed out that it's, it's probably a hair, not a bunny. But anyway, uh, this one has been calling my name for a long time. It just sounds really weird. It's a collection of short stories which put me off. But I thought, you know what, let's just get it. It's a short story collection, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, but I got it. Anyway, it seems quite um, on the horror side of short stories, on the strange side of short stories. So I thought I'd get that because it sounded right up my street. Look at the cover, beautiful. So yeah, that's my little book haul. And tonight we are meeting up with Tom's brothers. We're going to eat something in a restaurant. Uh, I don't think I'm going to film it because it's just a bit weird, you know, filming in front of other people in a restaurant. No, it's, it's not going to happen. I'm too awkward, I'm afraid. But yeah, anyway, so tomorrow I don't know what we're doing. We're doing the baths in the morning and then I don't know what else. But hopefully you will come along anyway. Thank you very much. Goodbye.
Hello everyone, welcome back. So the one bad thing about this hotel, well two bad things, it's the bed and the work's going on outside of our room. So hopefully you can't hear all that drilling. I mean you can, you can, there's no way you can't hear it. So I didn't really update you yesterday on what we did. So first of all we went walking around Bath and that's so annoying. We went walking around Bath and then we went to the Baths themselves, the Roman Baths, which was lovely, very interesting, beautiful. We then went to a vegan cafe. Oh my god, that's so annoying. I'm going to move over here. I'm going to move over here and hope that it's less noisy. Let's, let's go here. We then went to a vegan cafe. I can't remember the name of it, but hopefully I've annotated it. Um, and then what did we do after that? Ah, and then we walked up to Bath Uni. So you've got Bath City Centre and then you've got the Uni of Bath kind of at the top of a hill. And that was really cool. It was, it's a campus uni and it's just completely off the track, off of the centre of Bath. So that was really nice as well. Um, it was just so nice. To, it, it's kind of like countryfied from here to the uni. So it was really nice to kind of get away from the hustle and bustle. You don't even feel like it's hustle and bustle, to be honest, when you're here until you go out um, to the uni. So that was really, really nice. After that, we came back and I had a little nap. That was nice. And how many, how many things are nice? I had a very nice day. After that, we went out to a restaurant called Oak and that was lovely. So they bring out the dishes when they're ready and you share the dishes, which is really nice. And then after that, I wanted to go to Topping and Company. So the bookshop again, I was like, it's open late. I want to go back there. And Tom was like, eh. It's only around the corner from Oak. So we went there and then there was a book event going on like five minutes once we arrived and um, before, no, after we arrived. So we, we arrived on time and now I'm going to have to go back over there. And it was on Penguin Modern Classics and I absolutely love Penguin Modern Classics. So it was the author of, I don't know if you've seen the book, I'm going to attempt to pick it up. It's absolutely massive. This book, have you seen this around? Just ignored the messy bed. Um, anyway, the author of that 
was doing a talk so we were like okay let's just go to it it was really really interesting really enjoyable and I learned a lot about penguin really really cool um, and I enjoyed it very much the book looks amazing it's a signed first edition and also whilst I was there I came across this book a little life signed by the author yes please thank you very much so I got that as well and oh, it was just so spontaneous we just happened to be walking past at the right moment and yeah it was really really good really enjoyable um very very interesting talk ah oh, you should have been there man you should have been there so today we're gonna go to the bath abbey and then i don't know what we're doing but i'll film some bits for you so yeah see you then adios mm -hmm. 